What's up guys, Matt and Blake from footballboots.co.uk. Now for a lot of our regular viewers, you would have seen we did the top 10 boots on wide feet. But what about narrow fitting football boots? Now these aren't just boots suited for players with narrow feet, but if you prefer a boot which is tight fitting overall, these are also gonna be their 10 best boots for you. So let's get straight into number 10. So number 10, we have the Under Armour Spotlight. Now this is Under Armour speed theme boots. There's something a bit like the Vapor, Full synthetic upper, which is a little bit stiff and also it's naturally quite slim. What do you think about this boot? So again, like most speed boots, it's a very, very thin boot. Wide footed players, I would avoid this boot completely. It's a very narrow fitting boot. If you remember the speed form, it had that same sole plate there. It's quite stiff, but overall the last of the spotlight is very, very narrow. That's exactly right. You really can break it down into two things. Naturally, it's going to be quite narrow fitting, and also that synthetic upper isn't going to be one of the softest on the market. So if you want a speed theme boot, which isn't maybe like a Nike Mercurial Vapor, then this is going to be a great option for you. That comes in at number 10. Let's move on to number 9. So into number 9, we have the Adidas Glitch. Now this is a bit of an interesting one because it isn't naturally the slimmest fitting boot. But why is it a good boot for narrow footed players? For narrow footed footballers, the inner shoe is what we're talking about with the glitch. It's very, very narrow. So we're not talking about the outer skin. The outer skin is actually quite wide. It's very, very similar to something like the Pure Chaos or Existing Point One, but the inner shoe is what we're talking about, and that itself is quite narrow. Exactly right, so it is quite narrow fitting, and also it's fully compressive. It's made out of Adidas's tech fit material, which has a very compressive feel. So if you do want that very snug, wrapped feel, which I like in a football boot, I previously wore the X15 Plus, which had that prime knit material, which is very similar to this tech fit. So if you want a very slim, narrow, tight fitting boot, then the glitch is definitely good for that. So in at number eight is one of my own personal favorite football boots of all time and one that I'd still wear today, and that is a Pantofola de Oro Lazzarini. Now I like to describe this as a leather vapor. What are your thoughts on this? So this is one of the few leather boots on the market which is actually still quite narrow. The Tempo Legend 6, for example, is actually quite a wide fitting boot, but this, the Lazzarini, a very, very high quality leather option, a very narrow fitting. Exactly right. Now, one thing you're probably going to notice a lot with our top 10 narrow fitting boots is they all have central lacing systems, and that's because you really can pull both sides of the boot together, mm -hmm. and also because that Lazzarini upper is very soft K leather, you really can stretch it as much as you want around that foot. So, if you want maybe like a vapor feel but leather, this is going to be a great option for you. Comes in at number eight, so let's move on to number seven. So we get into number 7 and it's the Adidas X16.1, a really good boot for narrow feet. It obviously has laces on the outside so you can also customise the fit which is a great thing to have. But also that upper is naturally quite stiff and it will stay quite stiff. So what's the difference between the Point one model and the Pure Chaos? So the reason why we put the 16.1 into the video rather than the Pure Chaos is the, the Pure Chaos has a very, very mu a much more flexible upper than the existing point ones. So the upper itself will stretch a bit more than a standard X16.1, which is gonna be better for wide feet, and that's the reason why I put the X16.1 in this video. Exactly right, so it really comes down to the upper. So the last is exactly the same on each boot, but because the point one model is gonna stay a lot stiffer over the course of the whole season, it's gonna actually fit better for narrow fitted players compared to the pure cash, which starts off, it's gonna get softer, even more flexible. So if you, if you have wide feet and you want that more kind of forgiving fit, then a pure cast is the one to go for, but narrow fitted players running the X, the 16.1 is the one to go for. So number six, we've got one of the newest models on the boot market, and that is Under Armour's Clutch Fit 3.0. And this is such an intelligent football boot, and it's all because of the upper. You can actually put those laces very tight across because it's got kind of a 3D print rubberized texture on top of that upper, which stretches. So as you pull those laces tight, the actual size of the upper come very tight towards the midfoot, so you can make them as narrow as you want. So another thing I need to mention with the Clutch Fit Force is that it's very narrow. Another control solo we could mention is the Magista or the A17 range by Adidas. The Clutch Fit is a very narrow control boot. So you've got narrow feet, you want a control boot, try the Clutch Fit. So at our halfway stage in at number five, and we've got the New Balance Furon 2.0, and this boot is all about the midfoot portion being incredibly narrow. Now what other things about this boot make it good for wide feet if you wanted that specific type? So New Balance do offer something which no other brand offers, is that they offer a wide fit version of the Furon as well as the Visaro. So if you've got wide feet, try the wide fit Furon, but if you've got narrow feet, just stick with the standard retail version. Now it's another, it's very much similar to that Spotlight boot we mentioned at number 10. 
pretty much a speed boot, very narrow fitting. Anything else you need to say? So across that toe box, it is actually quite rounded. If you look at something like the Vape or the Superfly, they're quite pointed around that toe box. This is actually quite wide, which is very unique. Because that midfoot portion is so narrow, it really was one of the most narrow midfoot portions. It's quite strange that then it goes to a wide foot at the toe box. So it's a bit of a mixture. If you have quite a narrow midfoot, great option for you and if your kind of feet go a little bit out towards the toes then it also gives you a bit more flexibility and forgiving fit around that boot but number five new balance for on 2.0 and again it's a bit of an underrated boot but let's move on to number four so in at number four we've got puma's evo speed 17 SLS, which is the model worn by Puma's headline players because they want a little bit of a more durable boot, but it is a very narrow fitting boot and also one of the lightest in the list. It's definitely the lightest in the list. I think it's less than 150 grams. We didn't mention the Evo Speed SL. The Evo Speed SL is a much lighter boot, around 103 grams. It's going to stretch much more than the standard SLS. Now, the SLS is a much more durable version of the SL, which is why we haven't um, put this one in there because it's just it will accommodate wide feet a bit more, but the SLS is perfect for narrow feet. The likes of Griezmann, Royce, Aguero would love this SLS boot and Colway matches it perfectly. So that comes in at number four in our list. So we get into our top three and in at third place is one of the best quality football boots on the entire market and also one of the most underrated and that is the Mizuno Morelia Neo 2.0. It's got a lot of K-leather, high quality K-leather, some synthetic materials but the overall fit is incredibly narrow. Talk us a little bit more about this boot. So I've worn this boot in my true size and there was so much toe space. I've really, got really, really wide feet so it's pretty much a boot not for me but it's a very, very high quality boot, the Made in Japan edition, all K leather, very narrow fitting, the last is quite narrow isn't it? The last is so narrow and one way that you can actually tell that the Neo 2.0 is so narrow fitting, if you look down at the boot from a top down view, you can see just how wide the lacing system is because it is a much material on each side of the boot, so they want it to be very narrow fitting and that's how Mizuno want it to be, they want it to be a speed themed boot, very narrow fitting and that's exactly what you're going to get from the Neo 2.0 but the actual quality of craftsmanship is so high, if you haven't checked these boots out then definitely give them a look because they could be your next boot, they come in at number three, so let's move on to number two. So taking second place is the Nike Recruit Superfly 5. It's one of Blake's favourite football boots on the market right now. So he's going to talk us through why it's such a good option for narrow-footed players. So this is Nike's most narrow boot. It's definitely more narrow than the Magista, the Tempo and the High Venom. So yeah, pretty much very, very narrow you get with this contoured last. But yes, it's got this contoured sole plate. So it's a very responsive boot. Again, central lacing system with a dynamic fit collar. A very, very responsive boot just because it is very narrow. Now if we talk about the speed ribs, merging with the Brio cables and the laces with the contoured sole plate, that's the reason why it's so responsive. Maddie. So it really comes down to three things for me. I think number one, it's a natural last, it's going to be quite narrow. Secondly, it's a flying it upper, which means it's going to be quite kind of snug and compressive. So if you want that tight fit, that's going to be brilliant for you. And wrapping up in at number three, as Blake said, is the Brio cables, which merge with the sole plate to the lacing system. So as you pull those laces tight, the entire boot comes in very narrow around the foot. So it's just going to emphasize that whole narrow feet. That comes in at number two. So let's move on to the best boot for narrow footed players. So guys, this is it. The best fitting boot for narrow fitted plays is without doubt the Nike Recoil Vapor 11. It is one of the sleekest boots on the entire market. There's no doubt about it from the last to the upper to the lacing system, the hybrid tongue. Why is it so good for narrow fitted players? So the reason why I've got this number one instead of the Superfly is it's pretty much made of Tijan Synthetic. Tijan Synthetic is a bit stiffer than what you get out of Flyknit with that Nike skin. It's still very, very soft. But the reason why it's number one, because yes, it doesn't have a collar, but it's going to give you a very aggressive and tight fit in the midfoot, especially this no tongue system. It's not actually flying it. It's actually very, very elasticated synthetic, but it's much stiffer than what you get out of the flying in that tongue region of the Superfly, which is why it's number one, Matty. Exactly. So if you're a player like Philippe Coutinho, who has very small, petite feet, very narrow fitting, these are going to be the boot for you. These really are the narrow fitting boots on the market, if you do want the Vapor but you don't have narrow feet, it's a big risk because they might just be too aggressive from the heel to the toe. Could just be too tight and aggressive for you. But that wraps up our video. The Vapor 11 wins it for their narrow fitting boot on the market. Thanks for watching guys. And remember, if you want to leave your own personal comments of your own personal favorite football boots for narrow feet or your own foot type, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, we'll see you next time.